Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today's video is super cute and fun. We have decided to share some cute Thanksgiving treat ideas with you guys. This video is in collaboration with Jordan over at My Mom Life. I absolutely love her channel as she is so sweet and down to earth. She has a bunch of kiddos and so I know that she's going to share some adorable ideas with you guys. So I will have her channel linked and her video linked in the description box below. So make sure y'all go check her out. I, like I said, I love her channel. I love big family channels. We are a small family, if you know that. And so I just love watching larger channel videos and she's so sweet. She shares real life over there, amazing recipes. So I know that y'all are gonna really enjoy her channel. So make sure you go and check her out and give her some love. We have got three easy turkey themed, harvest themed, Thanksgiving themed treats for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So I found these cute turkey shaped cookies at Kroger a few weeks ago. So I just popped them in the freezer and I knew that this would be the perfect Thanksgiving treat and Winston really enjoyed this. I love doing stuff like this because it's really easy to throw together and he enjoys baking in the kitchen. I've been here a while, you know he loves being in the kitchen. So he really enjoyed this one. He was nervous about um, piping the icing but he definitely tried. This is one of those that's just super easy and just fun to get your kids in the kitchen. Okie dokie y'all, so we're gonna make our next cute little Thanksgiving treat. I found this idea on Pinterest, so I'll have it linked down below. But you, all you need is some donuts, and I had these in the freezer, so I just thawed them out. So we're gonna use these. You need some Fruit Loops or Walmart brand, whatever, Fruit Loops. And then you need some candy eyes. We've got the big and the little, but I think the little is gonna work best for the size donuts that we have. And then you need some toothpicks. So we're gonna set y'all up and show how to make this really cute Thanksgiving treat. I'm gonna do one, two. I wanna eat one right I'm now. Sure. Plenty. Okay, so now you're gonna take your toothpicks. I'll do mine. Let's look. <gasps> Break them off a little bit so it's. I like that. So our toothpicks are long, so I'm just breaking them. So we're gonna do four. We're gonna do four on each little donut for the feathers. So now wings for the feathers. That's what's gonna hold on your fruit loop. I'm very good at doing fruit loops. 
So now we're just gonna take and put the Fruit Loops inside. Wait, oh, we stack it. Yep, stack it up, and that's gonna be the feathers. <laughs> I'm doing these wing feathers very constructed. Look at. Okay, so we got our cute feathers on the back of our turkey. So now we're gonna take and put our eyeballs on. And I've got a little bit of red icing in the fridge. Just a little bit. And I just put a little bit on a Q-tip and I'm just gonna put it on the back. That way it kind of helps it stick onto the donut. And then Winston is going to do the same thing. Okay, we got our eyes on. So now we're going to put the beak on which is just a piece of the orange. And I just dipped it in some of that icing too. Put pictures on. Mm -hmm. Right in the center. Oh, I like you. Okay. And then we got the, I don't know what this thing's called, the red thing on the turkey. <laughs> The gobble gobble thing. Gobble gobble <laughs> make this gobble. Whatever it is. It just kind of goes beside it. Oh, I know what that is. I can't think of what it's called. Good job. <laughs> and there is our adorable little turkeys. Do you like mine? Comment on the blow. They are so cute, y'all. So, of course, if you had more kiddos, do a ton more. Uh, I think this would be really cute for, like, a classroom. This is really cute. Yeah, we need to make that for my classroom. <laughs> but I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this cute Thanksgiving dessert snack whatever you want to call it it's <laughs> super cute mm -hmm. we are going to make some harvest mix this is the ingredients that we're going to use there is a ton of different ideas and inspiration for harvest mixes trail mixes whatever you want to call it on pinterest but i like to use what i have in the house and the only thing that I bought was this autumn mix because I really don't, I personally don't care for candy corn. Um, so I don't ever, I don't buy it a lot, but I did buy it for this because it kind of goes along with the whole autumn harvest thing. And then I personally love these honey O's. They're really, they're, I don't know, to me, they're just so much better in a trail mix. So these are, to me, they're worth the money. And y'all know I have a hard time by paying full price for cereal, but these are super good. So we have got these pretzel crisp minis. You can use just regular pretzels if you have one, but this is what I have on hand. So I'm gonna use these. We're gonna use the Honey O's, some corn squares, and then some of the Harvest Mix. And then these are leftover from Halloween and they are dark chocolate creepy cocoa crisp M&Ms. That sounds so good. So I'm excited to try these. We haven't tried them yet. The only thing that I normally add in, but I don't have is like bugles. I really like the whole sweet and salty thing. I normally add bugles, but I don't have any. So we're just gonna roll with what we got. 
So Winston is gonna help me dump the ingredients in. We just have this big Tupperware container. I just like to keep it in here and we just snack on it throughout the week. So I don't, I don't really measure. I just kind of fill up this, like say one of each one of the cereals and the pretzels. And then we'll just add in, once we shake it and mix it, we'll add in the M&Ms and the candy. So now that we got it all mixed up, we think it needs another bag of M&Ms. But that's the good thing about trail mix is you can just add as you go. So we are gonna add these at Cookies and Scream. I found these on clearance at um, Target. I've never seen these before. I'm super excited to try these. We ha did try the crisp ones and they're really good. Got a nice crunch. So we're gonna add this bag of M&Ms in and that's it. You can do Cheetos, you can do Bugles. I'm telling you, you name it, you can add it. That's the best, that's the best part about trail mix. And that is it y'all. I really hope you enjoyed these super cute, but fun Thanksgiving treats. Get your kids in the kitchen and have some fun and make a mess. That's what it's all about. That's memories. Don't forget that this video was in collaboration with Jordan over at My Mom Life. I will have all her information listed in the description box below so y'all can go and check out her video and check out her channel. Go give her some love. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.